Today, I have the pleasure of sitting down with renowned choir director, Dr. Catherine Roma. She's known for her work with Muse, Cincinnati's women's choir, as well as the World House Choir in Yellow Springs. She also conducts three choral groups at Ohio Correctional Institutions, using music to unite and inspire the incarcerated. Since her retirement from Wilmington College in 2014, she continues to expand her music ministry and activism. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to share your story with us today. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, this Great is to awesome. be here. This is awesome. So first question, you currently do a lot of work with different prisons in Ohio. Can you tell us about those choirs and the work you're currently doing with them? Okay, well, you know, in 19, 19, yeah, it was 1993, I started a choir at Warren Correctional and um, I have been doing choirs since that time. So now I have three in retirement. And why do I do this work? Why, why week after week do I go in every single week, summer, winter, <laughs> spring, ice, snow, whatever? Um, it's really important for me uh, to bring together men, because I, I, my most experience has been working with men's choirs and recently women's, uh, to bring people together, diverse people together, to sing all kinds of music, because I think that's so important. So I started where they were and tried to figure out, you know, was it just gospel music that they love to sing and that they love to compose? Um, so I did some unaccompanied spirituals and three and four part arrangements, which w was very foreign to them. And then um, as we got to know each other, uh, they began to write their own music. And so that was really important to me to get that music out. And then I am working in the Dayton Correctional Institution and do Hope Through Harmony. That's a women's choir and that's been a real challenge. Uh, but it's been beautiful because I get to bring in outside women. So on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m., about 10 women from the outside come and join about 20 women on the inside. Do a, a, also a very diverse repertoire of music. Well, that's pretty amazing. What I love is like you talked about inclusion, like you're trying to bring young and old and, and inside the prison and outside the prison. So how important is inclusion um, in within your, your, your directing the choir and what's its impact? What's the impact of having that kind of inclusion? Well, I think that they learn a ton of things from each other. And that's, that's the most important thing because they're put together, uh, they're drawn together because of the music and because of the repertoire that I choose, which pushes them. For example, um, we are uh, going to be participating in an opera in New York City called Fidelio. Two young men came from New York to the prison choirs and said, let's sing German, let's uh, sing this prisoner's chorus. And so can you imagine, I mean, the men and the women singing in German, they've never done that, most of them. And so that is a real stretch for them because lots of times I bring in music um, that is composed by women, which they've not done either, um, and bring in women to work with the men and the women composers and workshop leaders teaching world music. So um, they're, they're benefiting from all of this diverse music. And I don't just bring in the music. I bring in people who talk about the music. I talk about the music. And so that is the thing that um, generates the conversation across differences and includes everybody. You're currently working on another project with the World House Choir. Can you tell us about that and that interaction and engagement with your other choirs? All right. So let me um, just, before I pick up with that, the World House Choir goes in to the prisons at least one time a year in all of the prisons. And what's also important to me is not only myself going in and learning so much from the people I work with on the inside and hopefully communicate a lot to them as well, but bringing in people from the outside to learn about the prison environment and to learn about how amazing a lot of the people in the prison choir are and the amount of talent that's there. So it's, it's multifaceted in that, you know, bringing people from the outside to learn about our prison system is, is of utmost value to the people, and they can talk about it, you know, the, the people in the choir, in the World House Choir. So the World House Choir uh, is about a hundred voice choir, drawing people from Cincinnati and Dayton and Yellow Springs and Xenia and Springfield and Urbana wow. <laughs> and Cedarville. Southwest uh, Ohio it's, it's is your South, choir. Right, okay, so, so. Um, and we're getting ready now to do an amazing work, a 57 minute work uh, about Bayard Rustin 
The Man Behind the Dream is what the piece is called. It's written by a man who directs the men's chorus in Cincinnati, uh, Steve Malloy. He's a great composer, fabulous arranger, and now uh, a wonderful conductor of the men's chorus there. And this piece is about the life and bringing to right. everybody's awareness this amazing man uh, who was is not really well known. The man behind the dream means that he was the man behind the 63 march in Washington. And people don't know that he almost single-handedly organized that march. But he had to stay behind the scenes because he's an out black gay man in the 50s and the 60s. And so he had to constantly stay in the background. But he's the man who taught Dr. King about nonviolence because he went to India and came and talked to King. And I just found out from... Uh, his partner, that he was he's very connected to this area. He met Coretta Scott King, Bayard Rustin, met okay. Coretta Scott King before uh, either of them met Martin Luther King on the campus of Antioch College. Your choir inspires um, a lot of joy and motivates others, and also you, you, you inspire collaborations. So how important is that to collaborate with people from the outside? Collaboration is the most important thing to me, to bring people all kinds of different backgrounds together. And music is the, um, the motivating force and that brings us together and the, brings the focus there. But then people get to know each other in the process and then they make friends and then they talk to each other and then they're babysitting for each other's kids. And then, you know, so there's a whole community that is engaged and that, that's what's so very important. Yeah, so this is a huge collaboration, this uh, thing coming up, this work coming up. Wow, you are doing amazing work and working with a diverse audience. And so I hope people come and check out the choirs and what they do. So I hope so. All right, thank you for coming and sharing, Kathy. Well, thank you very much. Right. It was great to be here. Awesome. Thank you.